just evaporates. It just evaporates as soon as it hits the super cold air. <laughs> I have one more experiment that I want to try. It's I can't quite hardly believe that it's uh, possible, but what I've heard is if you set two glasses of water, one warm and one cold, out into the cold, the one that is warm will freeze faster than the one that's cold. First, I have to see it to believe it. If it's true, then I'm going to find out why. Okay, I'm going to switch to my little action cam, mainly because it's got a nice uh, uh, time-lapse function to it, and I can see what it's seeing on my cell phone because it is got it's got Wi-Fi. So here I'm gonna I'm gonna put hot water in one and cold water in the other. We'll go set them outside in the cold and see which one freezes first. Okay I'm just gonna set them right here in the sun. That's the hot one. You can see steam coming off of that one. And here's the cold one. Okay, like I said, it's fairly obvious which one is hot and which one is cold. Whoa, yeah, and it's melting the snow underneath it. I suppose this one might melt it as well, but not like that. Huh. That actually might throw off my experiment a little bit because it's going to have some better conduction. The snow underneath the, the glass is melting, turning to water and will surely turn quickly back to ice and conduct heat away from the glass, whereas this one is just sitting pretty. So maybe I need to uh, figure out a different way to isolate these from heat conduction. So, let me think about that. Might run this experiment twice. Now that it's been sitting there a little while, it's uh, almost completely melted the snow underneath it, and this one hasn't melted it at all. I'm gonna adjust my action cam and then rethink how I'm going to set a hot and cold glass of water out in this weather. Okay, that's looking better on the action cam. There they are. Now I get it to go inside and quit being so cold. It is freaking cold out here. And I'm not dressed for it. Okay, so the last experiment did not produce the results that I was told that it would. My expectation is that I probably had some something wrong, uh, and my only guess as to what might have gone wrong is the heat from the bowl that had the hot water in it may have conducted into the table below and was stored uh, as a, like a battery. There was a, it was an energy reserve underneath the bowl that sort of insulated it from, from the cold weather. So what I found <clears throat> is these two, uh, these two plastic call them glasses for lack of better terms. And I think um, the volume per surface area, square inches of surface area on the outside, the ratio is a lot better because it's tall and skinny. So it's gonna have you know quite a bit more surface area uh, versus the thermal capacity of the water inside. A little concerned that the wind might blow them over, but uh, 
that's my, this is going to be what I'm trying this time. Now this time lapse turned out really phenomenal. I'm, I'm real happy with all the clouds floating by and the sunshine in the background shining through the, the tubes. But what the scientist in me is looking at is these striations, the, they're helical in their shape or around the uh, cylinder. <clears throat> And, of course, the cold ones on the right doing some more freezing. The warmer one on the left, however, did a lot of evaporating before it started to freeze. And uh, also has the helical striations uh, in the pattern that the, the water started to freeze around its circumference. Now the one on the right starts to freeze and the bottom is expanding and pushing up and moving it around and there she goes done just in time to see the sunset perfect okay so then I cut them open I wanted to see how much water was left inside I was too impatient to let them go all the way and the one on the right of course is the colder one the one on the left was the warm water and there's more water left and the one that started off warmer. Surprise, surprise. Okay, this is gonna be the my third attempt to get warm water to freeze faster or more quickly than cool water. It's warmed up out here quite a bit. It's, uh, I think it's around 10 degrees. So it's about 20 degrees warmer than it was yesterday when I was uh, messing around with it. What I'm gonna try now is I have a couple of um, Pyrex lids. They are all already cold. I've got my hot water here. I'm gonna fill them both to the exact same level. I'm just using that BB as a depth reference so that I know how much water to put in each, so, just so they're equal volumes again. Okay, right there, starting to melt the snow underneath. Now here's my cold water. Okay, and so that BB is just covered. So I have the same volume, same container. Both containers are already cold, and uh, we'll see see what happens here. I have a feeling that the the whole <clears throat> um, effect of warm water freezing faster than cold water is a bunch of crap. I don't think it's true at all. 